You ever wonder how a tree can relate to a web page? No? Well, after today, you won't be looking at trees and web pages the same. We're about to dive deep into how the DOM works. What's up, 10X devs? The DOM or document object model is all about how interactivity works within a web page and the structure and layout of it. We're about to learn all about the DOM right now. What is the DOM? Imagine a city, which is basically our web page, built on a blueprint, which is basically our HTML. The DOM is like the interactive 3D model of the city architects and builders use. It represents the page so scripts can change the document structure, style, and content all at once. Now you're probably wondering, well yeah, that's cool, I know what the DOM is, but why should I care about it? Well, without the DOM, web pages would be static as a painting. Basically what I'm trying to say is, without the DOM, you wouldn't have any interactivity. So when you click buttons, things wouldn't change, and whenever you click the dark mode button, you're whole web page wouldn't change to dark mode that's this how important the dom is itself next thing we're going to talk about the tree structure within the dom so each one of these squares i got them labeled one two and three you can see that these you can picture of them as elements and the reason the dom's called the dom tree right is you can think of this as how the dom is laid out actually in your web browser so what we're going to do is we're going to actually start from the top down we're going to remove two of these and this right here number one is going to be your root element this is going to be where everything's basically coming from this can be you can think of as the html tag and then from there let's say maybe you have the head and then you also have the body and then well maybe inside the header in the body you have the header has you know another element and maybe two more elements and maybe this one also has two more elements so you can kind of see how this is kind of somewhat turning into like a tree and that's where the term the dom tree comes from and what's pretty cool is how the updates work within the dom so the moment something changes let's say at this no you can also think in the dom as these squares as nodes and it's kind of maybe a weird term but they're called elements nodes things like that it's kind of interchangeable terms there is a distinct difference but it's pretty advanced i'm not going to get too in depth into it in this video you can call these just elements for now right so these are elements and when something changes in this element right here this bottom element it will travel all the way up well it'll come from here it'll travel down it'll capture some stuff some information and send it back up and the reason it does that is so it can tell if it needs to change or not so whenever you click let's say on this element you have a dark mode button and you click that sends down it captures what you clicked and it comes back and sends it all the way back up lets the dom know and then the dom interacts and is responsive and it changes based on that this is that bonus tip that i mentioned earlier in the video have you ever wondered how whenever you update something you change something on the web page you basically get brand new data without the whole web page refreshing the way this works is it's basically the dom and ajax which is asynchronous javascript working all together here's that bonus tip that i have for you guys if you ever wondered how whenever you change something on the web page everything seems like it refreshed but it didn't but you have all the new data well that's basically the dom and ajax working all together ajax being asynchronous javascript and xml basically just means fetching data from somewhere right so while the dom is updating it changes and then the ajax is making a request and fetches all the new data and then boom basically you have your new page and nothing ever changed as far as refreshing that is a cool little tip to know so that way whenever you're designing web pages you know exactly why some things certain happen like always 10x devs i want to thank you if you learned something or if you enjoyed the video please like the video it really helps us reach more people so that we can keep growing our channel don't forget to join the discord in the description down below we have a community of awesome people who are either starting trying to break into web development or just coding in general or we also have working software engineers that you can learn from and we all are helping each other as a community don't forget to also subscribe and follow me on kick the link is in the description where i live stream monday through friday and if you join me on there and you see me please don't forget to ask any questions or just say drop by and say hey don't forget to catch me in this video right here where we're also talking about some more coding stuff and lastly, if I forgot to mention anything about the DOM, leave it in the comments down below. I'd be glad to 
reference it or refer to it next video or any other video where I'm mentioning something similar. Or if you just want to say hey, please leave that in the description too. And with that being said, I'll see you guys later.